Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive and today I'm going to show you how to restore headlights that cannot be buffed anymore. For example, I am working in a 2002 Ford Mustang GT, all original car, but as you can see, these headlights have seen better days. This is what the driver's side headlight looks like, okay? I'm going to see if I could zoom in and show you. These headlights cannot be sanded and uh, polished. As a matter of fact, probably previous owner already have done that numerous times. Um, if I'm gonna zoom in close, you could see the clear coat on the headlights completely cracked and there's nothing you could do with these. Um, I'm gonna show you what you could do to make these headlights look brand new. Um, I'm gonna pull the headlights out and I'm gonna send the headlights down completely. I'm gonna send them down to the plastic. I'll probably start with uh, 400 grit DA and I'm gonna work down to about 1500 and then we'll uh, put a fresh clear, of coat, uh, clear coat on them. We're gonna clear coat them, uh, both headlights and I'll show you step by step what I do. So I'm gonna pull the headlights out next. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the headlights out. Very simple to do, just only two tabs. There's one here and one there that you have to pull out these metal brackets that look like this and they slide right into the headlight. So I just had to pull those out and pull the housing out. For the best results, uh, there's a rubber seal. It, it starts from one side and it ends in this corner here. So I'll take the seal off. You kind of have to work it to get it off. I'll take the seal off. This way I could get nice and beautiful finish on the headlight because um, if you leave the seal you have to tape it off and you're not gonna have a nice clean finish so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the seals off and you start from the bottom and uh, just kind of work work up like this and it comes off in some areas it feels like it's stuck a little harder just be careful work on it um, but it all comes off and we're gonna reinstall those when I'm done Just like so. I'm gonna get my DA and, and I'll start sending. I'll do my best videotaping because I don't have a tripod. So I'll try to show you everything in stages. As you can see when I'm sending, it's it's the clear coat comes off like this. It looks like a powder. But I'm going to send the headlight out and I'm going to show you the next stage. All right, everybody. So this is what the headlights look like now. And you can see they look all foggy and flat. There's no finish. So I went, I started with a 400. Uh, from 400, then I went to 600, then to 800. Uh, then I went to 1,000. 1500 and I gently went over with 2000 with my DA so you could take a look there's no more calcium buildup there's no more old clear okay so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna show you I have a solvent based pre-clean this is what you use to remove grease like a wax and grease remover um, before you paint your vehicles I'm gonna use a regular automotive clear coat 4 to 1 ratio so this is, check this out. I'm gonna sh just demonstrate and show you what the headlights will look like when I'm done. Um, just spraying, this is not a clear coat. This is just a solvent base, pre-clean. Watch this. Okay. Before they dry up. You see the finish? Well, right now you could see this little debris. All that's gonna get wiped off and I'm gonna show you once I clear coat the headlights, but take a look. This is the this is what the headlights should look like when I'm done with them, except without all that debris. If I want a nicer finish, I could uh, keep sanding it to a finer and finer and finer, finer sand uh, with the sandpaper, and then clear coat them. But uh, I am happy with the result. I'm gonna go ahead right now, wipe this down. See, once I'm going to wipe this down, the headlights turning back to foggy and they're not going to be as clear once the headlight dries up. So I'm going to go ahead and tape them off. I'm going to attack them 
and I'm gonna clear coat him and I'll show you what the final result looks like. Okay, so as you can see, my finish is not shiny, no flat finish. Before I'm gonna clear coat it and I'm using four to one standard clear coat. I'm gonna go ahead and use a pack rag. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, collect all the little dust specks that might be on the headlight and I'll do that in both headlights. Same thing on this one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Alright guys, so this is a final finish. Uh, inside the paint booth there was a lot of noise and I don't have a tripod and I don't really have a cameraman so I just try to do the best I could to show you. So it, you could see what the headlights look like. The clear coat is extremely clean. I don't have to polish it whatsoever. Uh, I'll wait till it all takes up and then I'm going to put the rubber seals back on and I'm gonna put them back in the car and show you what it looks like on the car. But uh, look at those headlights. And this clear will withstand uh, good heat, at least still 180 degrees, um, because I checked on the back of the can. And you could bake these if you would like, but I'll just wait and have them sit on the sun for a little bit. I mean, take a look at it. They look completely brand new. It took me a couple hours to do it. I could have purchased an aftermarket headlights, but I wanted the headlights to be original, the ones that came with a car. Uh, stay tuned and I'll show you what they look like on the car. All right, so this is the final result. I went ahead and put the moldings back on the headlight. Take a look at the headlight. This is the way the headlights turned out. It took few couple hours ago I showed you the results so it took me probably three hours to restore these headlights but these are 19 year old headlights original Ford there's a Ford marking right there and these headlights could be polished again they came out very clean so I didn't have to polish them but if I wanted to down the road I could wet sand them and polish them um, and it's basically brand new original headlights once again thanks for watching this was george with melnick's automotive